Right. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey, you're most welcome back to my YouTube channel. And yes, I am Tina Tunio, a fourth year medical student at Pirogov Russian National Medical Research University. Yes, so I study medicine. And that takes us to the next, why am I creating this video in this in introduction to my channel? Well, in 2024, we'll be talking about, oh, we'll be reconciling the word of God with medical sciences. I mean, I find science, uh, sorry, I find medicine very interesting and I find the word of God even more interesting. And I was like, okay, how can you reconcile the two of them? How do they correlate or how do they relate to each other? And yes, I want us to come to this channel and just go back more informed um, about the things or the different events that are actually in the Bible. For example, <laughs> um, the woman with the issue of blood, what was her condition? What was she suffering from? Was it something she was born with? Is it something that started later on in life? Was it a disorder? Was it witchcraft? What exactly? But yes, it's a medical thing that happened and yeah, we'll it's a different video I don't want to go into details of it but yeah I want you to come to this channel and then go back and not just call her the woman with the issue of blood you go and call her the woman that had this because you're informed about these things what happened to Jesus at the garden of Gethsemane how can you explain the fact that he sweated blood physiologically was it because he was divine I mean <laughs> he was meant to uh, that that was meant to happen no there's actually a physiological explanation to that and yes when they say that Jesus died a painful death how painful was it was it because you actually saw in the movie that he was being whipped and all those things but no there's actually a physiological explanation to that as well and yeah that's what we'll be talking about in this channel but apart from that we'll also be talking about very simple topics that are usually misunderstood or yeah there is actual the topics that usually have a disbalance or they just I don't know how to I don't know how to put it but yeah topics like depression topics like menstrual cramps topics like mis uh, masturbation topics like sex and all that a lot of people a lot of times we misunderstand them and yeah I just want to explain them the physiology of them and what does the Bible say about them as well the Bible might not mention some of them like directly but we can see the Bible is actually against some of them and yeah that's what that's what we'll be talking about and yes our solution is going to be from the Word of God it's not going to be from our minds or it's not going to be from something something like that of course I am um, in the medical field and I believe so much in medicine yes I do believe and I encourage people to take medicine and to take medical advice very serious and at the same time also believe the Word of God is medicine to our souls and yeah we will get that. I mean, you're already used to the medicine. I mean, you're already used to the taking of the medicine and all that. But I, also, I feel as well that we could just add the word of God to actually be that medicine to all our issues. And yeah, that's what we'll be talking about in this channel. And other topics as well that you might have, we'll also be talking about them. And just in case you have something you feel like, oh, Tina, I think you should talk about this one, feel free to just write me at Tina Tulio on Facebook or Instagram, and I'll be glad to speak on those topics as well or if you feel like those platforms are very far you could just drop in the com comment section and yeah i will be glad to speak on them and thank you so much for stopping by may god bless you abundantly amen see you in my next video